is Susie and today I'd like to share with you a couple of tips and tricks on how to extend the life of your patio furniture cushions by adding zippers and making them removable. Now I have a friend who um, has these beautiful patio uh, cushions and they are cream and she's had them for probably about eight years and she spot washed them and they look fabulous. Um, but they are beginning to look a little bit tired and she really needed a deep clean on the cushions in order to extend the life of them. So what we did was removed the inserts from the cushions to add zippers so that they would be um, removable and she could launder them whenever she wants. Now, I think in most cases, most patio cushions are probably going to be similar in size. These are... Uh, I would imagine they're somewhat standard, but this is a chair cushion. And in maybe your chair cushions, if you look on the side, there is a seam that runs down along the side of your cushions. And in this case, most cushions have a seam that run in the middle. So there's actually two separate uh, inserts or cushions inside this. So what we had to do was basically take the stitching out from the side and we're opening up the side to its fullest and in this case for our chair it's um the opening is 20 so what I did was I bought an 18 inch zipper this was $1.65 and that gives me an inch on either side. And then the smaller side of the cushion is 16 inches. So I bought a 14 inch zipper, where is the 14 inch, which fits perfectly and leaves an inch on either side. Now in buying zippers, and these are really inexpensive, $1.50, $1.65, um, in buying the zippers, buy the plastic ones. If you buy the metal zippers, you may run um, the risk of them rusting because it is outdoors and then potentially ruining the fabric. So I think that the plastic ones are the best for this purpose. They're all weather. They're okay. And this is really, um, you know, eight years after we bought our furniture, which is very expensive, and you certainly want to try and preserve it as long as you can, um, but you definitely, you want to use something that isn't going to cause more damage. So those are the two zippers um, that we're going to use for each of the cushions. With the lounge chair cushion, which is much longer, we did the exact same thing, opened up the seam, but in this case, the lounge chair cushion, the seat of it is much longer. And this is 28. So what I did is I bought a zipper that is 24 inches long. And this is a plastic zipper as well. And then for the shorter part, where you lie down, this is 22 it nope. Yeah, my opening is 20 inches, so I was able to use one of the 18 inch zippers, and that was perfect for these purposes. Now, when you are trying to remove the stitches from the cushions, you're going to want a seam ripper, and this is uh, a very handy tool it only costs a couple of dollars and you want to start on the outside like this removing the hardest stitches and you want to do about an inch until you can create a little bit of a pocket do it a little bit uh, further if you can and then you just want to slowly start removing those stitches if you are a little bit more confident you can use the little red ball which goes down into the seam and then you just run it along the seam, cutting each of the stitch, but you have to do it carefully. The little ball is there so it doesn't catch onto the fabric when it's 
underneath the stitch. So that's a good way to do it. Now the other, another tip that I think is critical is if you are adding the uh, zippers to cushions that you've never laundered before, remove the zippers and then launder all of your cushions. You want to make sure that there, if there is any kind of shrinking um, while laundering, that you do it before you actually add the zippers. Otherwise, if you add the zippers before you launder it, and then you launder it and your fabric shrinks and your zipper does not, then it's just going to be all wavy. That's another tip. Launder before you actually add the zipper. Then you want to look at the seams and you're going to need at least a quarter of, um, a quarter of an inch of a seam. If you find, and in this case, this side is less than a quarter of an inch, I find that by pressing the seam flat, right now it's got this indentation just from being sewn that way for so long, I find that open up the fabric, press it flat, and then create a quarter of an inch seam like this and press it. So that's what we're going to do first. And that is really important. By adding or by pressing all your fabric prior to sewing, it's just going to make your life a lot easier. So all we're doing So we see this little ruffled fringe. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to so in the case of this where the seam is like less than a quarter of an inch, it's only this big, I'm gonna press it flat because I find it's a lot easier to press it flat and then create your new seam that is going to be a quarter of an inch like that to fit the zipper. So I'm gonna do that now. So here it is, pressed, quarter of an inch. I'm going to take the top, that's a quarter of an inch, fold it over, there. So we have perfectly pressed two sides. And we want to always sew, or we are going to be sewing, in other words, the left side of our sewing machine. We're going to remove the, um, the base of the sewing machine so that we've got this smaller portion, the foot. And we're always going to be looking at it as we're sewing from the left side because this is an existing cushion. So it, it'd be very difficult to try and sew it and have all your fabric on the inside. So when we sew it, we're going to be sewing this side. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to take our zipper, which is, this is our 18 inch zipper. Yes, it's the 18 inch zipper. And the cushion folds, as I said, the cushion folds in the middle like this. So I'm gonna put my zippers facing in to the crease only because I think it's going to look better that way to have the, the two pulls um, side by side. So they're gonna be like this. But if it doesn't matter to you, then that is a no problem. Now the next thing that we're going to wanna do in this zipper top to be on the left hand side because when I attach it, and I sew it with my sewing machine, it's going to be on the outside of my sewing machine, the bulk of the fabric. And I'm going to line it up, the edge of my material, with the center of the zipper. And then I'll just pin along this side. Pins facing to the left, so we can pull them out as we sew. So now I've got it all pinned, 
and I'm going to start sewing this side only first all the way down. I want to line up the zipper with the edge of the folded fabric and then we're going to sew the foot here is lined up with the fabric and we're just going to very slowly pull out the pins As you sew, you want to pull your fabric through so it's continually rotating. And you can sew all the way down to the edge. So it's just peeking. And don't pull on the fabric. Let the machine do it and just guide it. And now we're getting to the end. So I'm just going to lift the foot. and close up the zipper. Make sure the zipper is past the foot. And continue to sew. All the way to the end. A little back split stitch. So the zipper is open sewn on one side, but you want to uh, slip your hand underneath there and make sure it's perfectly flat like this so that the zipper is perfectly lined up. And now I'm going to pin it here and then pin all the way down after I open up the zipper. Now we have it secured in place. I put my pin in backwards, but that's okay. And we're just going to line up the edge with the zipper. We're just going to get that started and then we're going to stop. So we've moved the zipper to the other side of the foot. You can see there. So that now, line that up. So now we've closed, zipped up the zipper, but we still have a gap here and we have a gap here. So all we're going to do is line this up carefully and we're going to sew this part together. So now we've got those two pieces together, you can see there, and I'm just going to kind of push the zipper in a bit and maintain that fold. And then I'm just going to sew it to about here. And that's it. And then we can back stitch. And that's all. So this is our lounger. You can see it's much wider. The other thing that I've noticed is over the years, the fabric has stretched a little bit and it has a little bit of give. So what you want to do is you can see that this is not perfectly straight. There is a bulge here and this has just been from years of use and it has stretched. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and follow the line as closely as I can with the zipper, 24 inch uh, zipper. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to eyeball it and put it in the middle like so. And I'm going to start from the left side working to the right. Edge of the fabric with the middle of the zipper. I've pinned the zipper and I've actually pinned it to um, along the curve. There's a slight curve so I try to, to curve the zipper along with it because once it's full 
with the cushion inside, it'll be able to maintain the same shape that it had before. Lock my stitch in place. Open the zipper so that you can sew along the seam. At a certain point, I just put the needle down, lift the foot, and zip it back up, and now I can continue. But you can only you can only sew with the zipper closed on the first pass because the second pass you have to have the zipper open in order to put the uh, the sewing foot through. So let's continue on. There you go. So I've sewn half, and now all we're going to do is we're going to flip it over because remember we want to sew from the left side to the right so that we're on the outside of the sewing machine. So in this instance, I'm going to do the exact same thing as before. I'm Insert going my to hand. You can see it's wide open. I've made the opening much bigger. So I'm just going to stretch it out like this. So it's nice and tight. I can see that my zipper is right there and it's lying very nice and flat. And I'm actually, I'm going to add two pins because this is a, a wider zipper. There you go. So I'm going to add two pins and I know if I put slip my hand in there, even though there's the opening here, I know this is nice and flat. So I'm going to be able to sew on this side, but in order to be able to sew on this side, I'm going to have to open the zipper like this. And now I can get started sewing on this side. So we're going to zip it back up. There's the hole there. So we're just going to push it in a bit and create our little sandwich, pin this and sew it together. So there you have it, the zipper. And down here, it did end up a little wonky because the, uh, the zipper is quite thick, but once the cushion is in there and it's stretched out, with the cushion inside, it will basically look like this. There is a little bit of an opening there, but eh, that's okay. Doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I've got all my cushions sewn. The zippers are, um, the zipper tags are in the center of the chair where it folds and then you can see how for the lounge chair there's a nice large opening and for the top of the lounge chair there is a nice opening as well so i think that that is basically it on making your uh or converting your lounge outdoor patio cushions into removable cushions that uh, hopefully it will help preserve your cushions for a little bit longer and for a minimal cost the cost of zippers it really is worthwhile doing this um, and i think it's going to make for very easy cleaning in the future and just one last tip when you are uh if you are buying your thread obviously your thread and your zippers you want to coordinate it to the color of your actual fabric but if you're able and they do sell it in all sewing stores get the uv protected um thread because that is more suitable for an outdoor application and it will help uh, make your cushions last even longer. If you're going to go through the trouble of sewing them, you might as well use the right materials. If you like this tutorial and you found the informative, 
I hope that you share it. So happy sewing and have a happy summer. Enjoy. Enjoy.